60 of the best restaurants from the popular cable TV show Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives are being brought to life in a new book. And KTLA's Ali McKay is live in Huntington Beach to see what's cooking with Food Network star Guy Fieri. Fieri. Got to make sure we say it right, Good Allie. morning. We Look are actually... It is. It is correct, right? Fieri. Fieri. Oh, you Fieri. got it. You're on point. Huh? Thank you. Not your first rodeo, Not is it? Not my first rodeo with an Italian in a diner. I don't even know what that means, really. But you are here in town to promote this book, which is just like your show, except... In a book. In a book. It's a book form of my show. Yes, I, <laughs> not any sauce inside of the pages. No, though. unfortunately. A lot of very scary pictures of me, um, the car, things like that. But a good, a good like book. And a full listing of all of the uh, first two seasons of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And you, if people are just joining us, have never heard of you, which, <laughs> come on, it's Guy Fieri. <laughs> you were the winner of the second Next Food Network star, correct? Yes, I, I still remember that. It, it seems like it was ten years ago, but it was doesn't only three. It, doesn't it? Yeah. And we are live in Venice at a place called Baby's... Baby's Blues Barbecue. That's good enough. That's good enough. I like we it. have no idea where we are. Now, why legit, did you do... Legit, legit barbecue. Legit. Why did you do a segment in here? What was it about these two guys, besides the fact that Rick stares at himself in the monitor, even though I told him not to, what well, was it about these guys that made you do a segment here? I, I, if I try to give you any legitimate answer, I think that I'm going to get thrown under the bus with it. Now, I really got to tell you, we go all over the country, and yes. we find the best of the best, and we try to find unique stories with real deal food, with true characters, and I'm telling you, if you haven't had a chance to come down and eat at this joint, these dudes are off the hook. They're pretty real deal, aren't they? And they're and so happy that we brought them down here I, this morning. They love this time of morning that is so true now the great thing about your show is you're so accessible just as a host but the places you go to totally accessible they're not hoity-toity places no I'm not a hoity -toity. I'm not really a hoity-toity guy so it doesn't uh, it's not really my style but right. we came in here this is back when the show first started and we spent a day with these cats and I got to tell you something I, it's, I'm still going through therapy. Ooh, as well you should be. I spent 25 <laughs> minutes with him. I'm over it. But oh, that. totally kidding. We Sautéed okra, greens, cornbread, and some baby backs. You know, this is not just for breakfast anymore. No. No, you can really get out. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen this morning, but it's going to be weird, and it's going to be fabulous. Well, you're going to meet these two in just a bit. This is Rick. This is Danny. They are fun guys, but if you want to go and see Guy Fieri tonight in Huntington Beach, Barnes & Noble, 7 o'clock, you're going to be there signing your book. Signing away. I'll have oh. like nine Sharpies on fingers like this. <laughs> because he's missing a digit. We don't Long really more like accident, it. But I don't want to talk about it. Okay, that's next segment. <laughs> see you guys. Oh. <laughs> We want to talk to you. Yeah. Guys. Questions. I've watched you for years, guy, and you go to all these drive-ins and diners and things. What can't you eat anymore? Is there something that you've just had enough of? Ooh. Ooh. Well, because you notice this petite figure. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, there's really nothing I don't. The only thing I can't handle. I cannot walk into a joint that's cooking liver. All right, I smell liver on the griddle. Yeah, yeah. that's about my only can't Not a do. Good thing for Otherwise, you. I eat it all. Now, when what I was traveling through Memphis, liver? that you can get ribs and you can have them either dry or wet ribs. I really like the dry ribs. Ooh. What's oh, your right? Yeah, I, I'm down with you on that. And these guys have pretty similar appeal here. Uh, where they're not put on the, putting a lot of sauce on. I think that we get a, a bad reputation that things are over sauce. But no, like when you go down in Texas or a lot of your southern states, when you go down there, uh, they'll typically serve them dry and let the meat really speak for itself. Yeah. Bring it I over. I prefer it when meat yeah, speaks a couple for of plates itself. Over. And I prefer my meat wet. So that's how we differ. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, wet, I'm a wet girl too. Wow. The two of you wow. all morning long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Send it over. Bring it over, Mark says. That's all that matters, really. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone.